lovelies it's legit lovely oh, welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are actually going over some sims news now it's not necessarily sims 3 or sims 4 it's actually believe it or not sims 5 news just want to mention quickly that i am a little sick so the congestion levels right now are kind of up so if you guys can hear it in my voice i do apologize but we have some Sims 5 intel that is actually official because it is from the CEO of EA. Like, what the heck? So, according to the Sims community, in an article recently released on January 31st, 2020, EA CEO confirms a next-generation Sims game, which might have both single-player and multiplayer modes, which is absolutely, like, groundbreaking and breathtaking. I don't know which word to put first or put them together. But this is big, big news. Something that Sims players have always, always wanted was, or to this day, is a multiplayer gameplay. We each play with our Sims. If we do collabs, you know, we kind of have to send each other our Sims. But being able to play multiplayer in The Sims is something that we have wanted for the longest time. And the fact that it could be being brought into The Sims 5, it's just amazing. So, um, reading the article, it says... That first they wrote ab about career listings that hinted about the production of the next Sims game. Basically, what EA does is when they have job openings, they actually post them online on their careers listings page. And they describe what the kind of like job they're looking for or what job they're hiring for. So it'd be like either animation or graphics or, you know, set design or something like that. So the career listings that they've been listing have been something a little different than they have been in past Sims games. Uh, we had more clues adding up to the game that is in development. And now Andrew Wilson, EA CEO, said that the next generation Sims game is in development. So in the third quarter earnings call, Andrew Wilson was asked a question if Maxis had any plans of relaunching an online version of The Sims. So we had Sims Online from 2002 to 2008. Um, and then we had something that isn't mentioned in this article, but we had The Sims Social on Facebook for a little while, which I actually used to play. Um, so it says, Andrew Wilson gave an interesting answer saying that Maxis is continuously thinking about The Sims for a new generation and that features from The Sims Online will be a part of that experience in years to come. So a quick little thing is that it'll be something in years to come kind of implies that it won't be something that comes to Sims 4 and that'll be something that comes to The Sims 5 or a future game, but probably not with The Sims 4. Um, it says that throughout this answer, Andrew shared that they will always stay true to creation, escape, motivations, and more, hinting at some of the keywords of an offline game, that they will also start to embrace a new social experience such as social interactions and competitions, similarly to The Sims Online, um, and in a Sims experience in the years to come. They keep saying in the years to come, which is very important because it implies that it probably won't be in The Sims 4, it'll be in The Sims 5. So we have a full transcript of everything that Andrew said. Um, most importantly, I want to go down to this, the bold part. So it says, as Maxis continues to think about The Sims for a new generation, cross platforms in a cloud of a neighborhood world, you should imagine we will always stay true to our inspiration, escape, creation, self-improvement motivations. That this notion of social interactions and competition, like the kind of things that were actually present in The Sims Online many, many years ago, that they will start to become a part of The Sims experience in the years to come. We are very excited. This is a game that really doesn't have any competition in its category. Shout out to Paralives. If the game ever gets released, I feel like this could be some strict competition, but I have made a video on Paralives that is on my channel. Um, I'll link it in the description below because it's not really pertinent to this video, but I'll link it. Um, and it says, we are very excited. Uh, uh, um, it is category for delivering and fulfilling these motivations for players. And we think of the tremendous growth and opportunities for us for many, many years to come. So a lot of people are saying The Sims 4 was going to be the last Sims game, that we weren't going to have a Sims 5 or a Sims 6. Um, because of how disappointing i guess you could say the sims 4 was and continues to be with all the dlc this is faith this is hope this is a sign that we will have a sims 5 they might not call it sims 5 it might be something different but we will have another sims game if all goes to plan um so shout out to yovan who wrote the article and also is the head 
writer, and owner of the Sims community. So, yeah, that's really what I want to go over in this video. It's a short video. My opinion, I'd like to see how they introduce multiplayer. Um, especially in the... I feel like custom content isn't going to transfer, and since a lot of us Simmers use custom content, that could be a problem. But I feel like if the Sims team does it well enough to the point where we don't need CC and they have enough in-game items, um, the transfer of CC via multiplayer may not be a problem. They could make this very simple for themselves. They could either make it like the Sims 4 and just make it multiplayer and have us have the need for CC, or they could add decent items in-game um, where we don't need a lot of custom content, and then everything will transfer. Um, and then there comes the issue of DLC and other simmers not having DLC, and can you only play multiplayer with simmers that have the same DLC as you? So there are a couple issues that could come up, but for the most part, I think the idea of multiplayer is kind of cool. Um, and it says both single player and multiplayer. So there's the option of playing one or the other. Your whole game most likely will not have to be multiplayer, which I also kind of like, because multiplayer gameplay isn't for everybody. But yeah, I will link this article in the description below so you guys can, you know, dissect it yourselves. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on all of my social medias. There's always conveniently linked in the description below. If you aren't already a member of my Discord, the link to join is on the screen right now and in the description of all of my videos. If you'd like to purchase any of graphic design commissions, um, my portfolio is linked in the description below and some of my work is on the screen. And like I said, if you want to purchase anything, get me on Twitter or Instagram at LegitLovely and we can get commissions started. And last but not least, I am sponsored by Epic Games. So any purchases that you make using my supporter creator code LegitLovely, whether it be in the item shop or the Epic Games store, will directly support me and I will receive some compensation from those purchases. So yeah, I'd really appreciate it. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay lovely and I'll see you on my next video. Bye everyone. I'll be with you from dust